hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how to create this clean and elegant lower third animation inside hit film express all right so here i am inside hit film express i already loaded the images that i'll be using for this tutorial i'm going to start off by creating a new composite shot i'm going to rename this to main 10 seconds should be good enough 1920 1080 30 fps click on ok Create another composite shot. I'm gonna rename this to BG for the background. Uh, this is where we'll be placing our background. It can be anything, image or video. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using this image as a background. And let's close out of this. Back in our main comp, we're gonna create a new plane layer. I'm gonna rename this to rectangle. Let's give it a, a gray color. Color won't matter since it will not be visible in our final animation. So let's click on OK. Then we're going to select the rectangular mask tool and create a rectangle shape. Just like that. And then we can go inside the mask shape and increase the expansion to get these rounded corners. I'm going to create a new plane layer and call this circle. I'm going to give it a white color. Click on OK. Just hide this layer, hold the, um, just select the lips mask tool or the shift key on the keyboard and just draw your shape. Something like that. Let's uh, unhide the layer and uh, let's select the mask and select the section tool. Now you can see our anchor point is right over here. We can just hold the shift key and just drag it in the middle. Right then we can create a new text layer select the text tool and type in your text I'm gonna type in my channel name uh, just select the text go to the text tab and here we can change the font so I'm gonna use Roboto set the font weight to bold and then just increase the font size a bit okay it looks good then we can duplicate this and just bring the text down just like that Select the text tool, Control A to select all the text, and I'm going to replace it. I'm going to replace it with a different text. So let's just type in Content Creator. I'm going to select the text and change the font weight to light, and also decrease the font size. Then what I can do is I can just drag in the background composite shot under all these layers. Now I want to I want this background to be inside this shape the rectangle shape so we can do this with the set matte effect but if I apply the set matte on the background it's not going to work so let me just show you if I turn off the rectangle layer set the source layer to rectangle change the blend to subtract you can see it's not doing what we want it to do so the reason is let me just show you what's not working so when we apply the set matte and set the source layer to rectangle it's going to apply the this effect on the entire layer it's going to uh, which is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels in size but we want the set mat to apply on to only this portion this area only the mask area so to do that in order to do that we can just simply undo this okay uh, on the rectangle layer right click on it and click on make composite chart and you can just leave it rectangle let's just rename this to rectangle then we can we have these four options we want to select the very first option and on the second one we want to select the move with layer option and click on ok then we can just exit out this in our main comp if we expand the rectangle we can see we don't have the mask effect anymore it's in uh, the other rectangle composite shot now if you apply the set mat on the background hide the rectangle layer We'll just change the source layer to rectangle, set the blend to subtract, also click on invert. You can see that our image or the background is inside this rectangle shape. Okay, now we can just drag in our background and uh, just for the organization, I'm going to rename this to BG Mat. Now we can apply any kind of effect on this. I'm going to apply the blur effect on the bg matte layer and if we expand or increase the radius you can see that uh, it has some uh, it's gonna have some issues 
you can see it's uh, feathering uh, at the edges so we don't want that so to fix that we can simply just drag this blur and put it on top of the set mat and there we have it now we do the same thing with this shape as well so let's just drag in our image put it on top of the circle and just place it properly something like that we can also create a composite shot so let me just um, let's just do delete this let's create a new composite shot i'm gonna set the width to 500 by 500 click on ok let's just drag in the image inside this comp and uh, i'm going to rename this comp as well to image okay so drag in the image put it the image comp put it on top of the circle i'm going to put this image right over here we can't see where the circle is so let's just expand the image composite layer go to transform and turn down the opacity uh, i think it looks fine so i'll just leave it where it is let's turn the opacity back to 100 percent and again we have the circle layer it's it also has the mask so we need to right click on this layer click on make composite chart we call this circle and just select the second option which is move with layer and click on ok let's close this comp and we will apply the set map effect on the image itself let's hide the circle layer expand the set map set the source layer to circle set the blend to subtract and also click on the inward option now our image is inside this circle and um, there we have it so if you want to change the background you can easily do that if you double click on the background composite we can just uh, replace it with a different background go back to your main you can see it is uh, it has been updated in our main animation or the main comp if you want to change the image we can do that easily double click on the image comp and just uh, replace it with a different image go back to main you can see the changes have taken place immediately in our in our main comp so let's just um, undo that now uh, I want to scale it down so um, we can do that individually on all of these layers but as you can see it's gonna take uh, some time so what I can do is I can just quickly create a new point layer I'm going to parent everything except the point layer and these two background composite shots I'm going to select all the other layers and parent it to the new point layer then I'm going to expand the transform and just scale this down and we can also change its position so you can see our blur is also getting updated in the background as well wherever you move it's going to blur just like that and uh, let's quickly create us uh, some animations so i'm going to create go to one second in time create a position keyframe let's go back i'm just going to bring it down create a uh, convert the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph and just create a smooth animation so uh, this is what we have created so far so uh, that's pretty much it that's how you can create this cool uh, lower third animation inside hit film express if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below other than that if this video was helpful please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one